Thank you very much, Acting Deputy President. Well, it's my pleasure to rise and make a contribution to this debate, which of course is necessary because of Labor's opening of the floodgates, which has meant we are seeing record levels of international students in this country, fuelling the housing crisis and causing unprecedented chaos in the, in the international education sector. And Senator Pocock is correct in saying that the bill currently before the Senate has caused enormous distress and grief for the tertiary education sector. Uh, it is a bill which is riddled with incompetence, secrecy, unfairness and uncertainty because of Labor's uh, botched student cap scheme. And we have, an, in fact, endured some four public hearings uh, looking into the ESOS bill to discover the many um, irregularities, improper decisions which are being made, and blatant discrimination. And it does reflect the government's incompetence, sheer incompetence, and the fact that it is now October, and the government is asking Australia's higher education and vet sector to implement student caps by the 1st of January uh, with so much uncertainty. We don't even know whether the bill is going to be debated tomorrow or not. Uh, really, uh, as the sector is saying, uh, is just uh, absolutely um, insane. I particularly want to raise concerns with the way the government, with its proposed student cap has blatantly discriminated against smaller and regional universities and private higher education vet and vet providers. We've had a myriad of evidence in that regard, and that is a shocking reflection on the government's focus on fairness and equity for all. And for the Minister for Education, on the day that he announced the national planning level of 270,000 to declare that the regions will be the winner and regional universities will be the winner is an absolute joke and, of course, not supported by the facts. Because what we have seen is that at the group of eight universities, Australia's most prestigious universities, uh, the proposed number of students there uh, is very much on par with 2023 while the regions and smaller unis and particularly private providers have taken a very, very big hit. But let's not forget what this is all about. This is all about fixing Labor's immigration mess, fixing Labor's big Australia policy. Labor, in fact, has run the biggest migration program in a generation with more than one million migrants are coming here uh, under this government. At the same time, we've seen record low construction and building approvals, and that is putting more and more pressure on the housing market. Even the, the, uh, the government itself, in its assessment of uh, rentals and the impact that international students are placing on the rental market, has conceded that the record number of international students is fuelling the housing crisis. Uh, very proudly, um, the opposition leader, Mr Dutton, in his budget reply announced we will fix Labor's mess by reducing excessive numbers of foreign students studying at metropolitan universities uh, to relieve the stress on rental markets. And that's where the big problem is. That's where the big pressures are in Melbourne and Sydney in particular. And we will also enhance the integrity of the student visa program by introducing a tiered approach to increasing the student visa application fee and applying it to foreign students who change providers. The coalition also believes that by rebalancing the migration program and taking decisive action on the housing crisis, we would free up almost 40,000 additional homes in the first year and well over 100,000 homes in the next five years. We would do this by implementing a two-year ban on foreign investors and temporary residents purchasing existing homes in Australia. Secondly, we will reduce the permanent migration program by 25 per cent, from 185,000 to 140,000 for the first two years in recognition of the urgency of this crisis. The program will then increase to 150,000 in year three and 160,000 in year four. So we are determined to fix Labor's mess, to fix Labor's big Australia policy, 
and uh, as I say, uh, this is very much a mess of its own.